Welcome back everyone, Grimer here doing another episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Okay, so let's see, we beat the, uh, we beat the, uh, water temple? Yeah, the water temple last time. There has been quite a bit of a time skip since the last episode I recorded in this one, so I'm trying to play catch up and figure out what I'm doing. Uh, but I think I need to go to Kakariko Village. Uh, because remember when we did the whole water draining thing in the, uh, in the well? That's actually finally gonna pay off, so let's head towards Death Mountain, I see it over there. Um, yeah, it's gonna finally pay off. Uh, because now we have to actually go do some kind of evil dark stuff. We have to go take on, like, the Shadow Temple, I think, is the next one. So, having the horse here makes things way easier. I went ahead and called her to the lake while I was back there. Uh, makes, uh, makes things, uh, much easier to get around. And I think we can just take her to the steps, and then she's like, Nah, I'm not going any farther, yo. So, let's leave her here. And head into Kakariko Village. Now, I think there's going to be a bit of a cutscene when we cut it, come in here now, now that we beat the Water Temple. Unless I'm mistaken. Nope, there's a cutscene. Okay, so it's all on, like, fire and stuff, and terrible things are happening. Yeah, it's like, what happened? Why? Why is everything burning? And there's Sheik! Chick, you light these fires? What you doing, man? Looks angry. Get back, Grima. Once again, there's a French thing. Whoa. So there's some terrible, terrible thing down in the well, which I already drained. Which apparently she can't see. Oh, well, that's because it's invisible. Oh. Ooh, that's a broken neck. He's definitely dead. He's dead. There's... <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so there's a weird shadow thingy there. 21-year-old graphics. Actually. Yeah, it's almost 22 years old now. This Let's Play's been going on a while. Get him, Link! Or Grimer, get him me! Get him me! Okay, you sound like you kind of got beat up pretty bad. <laughs> okay, so that uh, that didn't work out as well as I had hoped. Okay, Sheik is not dead. He survived getting his neck snapped, apparently. Uh, looks like you're coming around. Did I get my neck snapped, too? Okay, things must be okay now. The calming music started. Grimer, a terrible thing has happened. The evil shadow spirit has been released. That's not good. Impa, the leader of the Kakiri village... Uh, has sealed the evil shadow spirit in the bottom of the well. Uh, but the forces, uh, but the force of the evil spirit got so strong, the seal of the well broke, and it escaped into the world. Oh no! I believe Impa has gone to the Shadow Temple to seal it again, but she will be in danger without any help. Grimer, Impa is the one of the is one of the six sages. Wow, way to just spoil it for me. Couldn't you have done hashtag spoiler warning before that? Okay, destroy the evil shadow spirit and save Impa. Uh, there is an entrance to the shadow temple beneath the graveyard behind this village. Well, I'll just go there and do that. Uh, the only thing I can do for you is teach you this melody that will lead you to the shadow temple. That's easy. Could you teach me the ones to lead to the rest of them as well? Uh, this is the melody that will draw you into infinite darkness. That absorbs even time. Listen to this. The Nocturne of Shadow. Hmm. You know, that actually sounds kind of creepy. I'm, I'm probably good. You don't need to teach me this. Okay, short-term memory here. Let's see. Short-term memory. I think it gives me a grade skill version to follow. To, yep. Got it. Alright, so this is one of those songs that will warp you to one of those Triforce pads. Uh, this Triforce pad actually is right in front of the Shadow Temple. Now, there's a little bit of a problem though, and that is that when I get into the Shadow Temple itself, there's going to be things that I can't see. Invisible things. And that, that could cause a real problem. Um, so, uh, oh, uh, let me finish this first. Let, uh, let me take uh, care of the village. I'm counting on you, Grimer. Okay. So you're gonna stick around, right? You're gonna stay here? You're not gonna like flash and disappear? Or you're just gonna flash and disappear? Um, okay. So yeah, there's there's things though that I need. Uh, there's there, I can't see everything in the Shadow Temple. Um, 
So there's something I'm going to need, and that is actually down here at the bottom of the well. But to get into that, I have to be really, really small. There's like a there's like a little crawl space, which means you guessed it. I have to be a kid to do this. Um, I have to do. There's a, a little thing called the lens of truth that's down there that I have to try to go get, uh, and then I can reach the shadow temple. So first things first. I need to figure out how to get back to the temple at time, and I cannot remember the songs to save my life. Um, this one? I think so. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's do that. Got it. I think this one works me back to the temple of time. I need to put the Master Sword back and return to being a child and come back here so that I can take on those terrible things at the bottom of the well. Uh, it's going to be weird being a ten-year-old again. But it's necessary to get the, uh, the Lens of Truth so that I can have it as an adult. Turn completely around. Let's roll my way up here. There's the Spiritual Stones. Remember those? Those are like a long time ago. Seven years, actually, if you're following the timeline of this. Alright, let's go ahead and get put the sword back. Return to being a child. This is called getting back to your childhood here. pretty cool. This temple actually is in Breath of the Wild also, but it's kind of a little bit more run down. Alright, so there we go. Now, I should be able to te do that song that that they just told me. I I forgot it already. Not gonna lie. I forgot it immediately. She just, <laughs> she just taught me this thing, and I already forgot what it was. Uh, uh, okay, I, got, I, can, I can do that. Got it. Yes, I would like to warp to the graveyard. Okay, so this should take me right back to Kakariko Village and the entrance to the Shadow Temple right here. So kind of a cool thing though, actually, uh, down here is actually the entrance to the Shadow Temple itself. A bunch of torches, you gotta light them all at the same time. Uh, that I'll do in the next one though because first I have to actually get this part I think I can, can I just climb up this thing yes I can okay so I have to get to uh, get back to the well because the well has uh, has the the lens of truth in it and that's what I'm gonna need to beat the shadow temple in fact I don't even think I can see the end boss without it it does take magic to use but it takes it's like really really cheap it barely drains it at all Okay, so it's nighttime, everyone's sleeping, and it's all nice and cozy, and I'm gonna go jump into a well. Alright, so this is where it's gonna get a little freaky. Yeah. Run into a wall, got it. Okay. Oh, actually, this is actually wide open. Oh, here it is. This is the thing that you have to squeeze through as a kid. So you could get to this part as an adult, but you couldn't actually uh, fit through this as an adult. So, this is where it all begins. Alright. Diving deep into this creepy, shadowy, evil place. <laughs> Just to get a lens of truth. Ah, screw your ladder. Um, I don't have my, I don't have my hook shot anymore, so. Got it. Like a pro. There's a skeleton in the corner, that's not creepy. Oops. Navi, what are you saying? I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Look for the eye of truth. That's what they're saying. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm here. Okay, whoa, see that? Okay, so here's a fake wall. So, like, you wouldn't even know where to go because this looks like a dead end. But, yeah, there's things like this. This wall isn't actually here. And that's what the eye of truth is for, is to find those things, you know? So, I need it. This is basically like a, like a dungeon, actually. That was a weird, freaky, floating skull thing. It's basically a dungeon. <clears throat> and I got to find my way through this. Now, I got to look for little cracks in the walls and stuff like that and things like this that has a little fissure on the ground. You go ahead and put a bomb right there for that one. Boom. Okay. Cool, guys. Don't look at explosions. All right. And then you'll find chests throughout this that have uh, keys in them. <clears throat> and this is not one of them. This is a bomb chew. <laughs> bomb chews are like bombs, but you can set them down on the ground, and then they just take off. And they climb up walls and all sorts of stuff. They're actually really handy. Um, I don't remember where to go, so we're just going to start going one direction here. We're going to hug a wall as we go because, like I said, there's fake walls. And I want to find them Ooh, right here for example is one. I want to try to find them if I can um, There's a key 
And I'm going to need every key that I can find, every little hidden secret that you can find. That's why I'm hugging a wall. There's another one. There's a door. Let's get this guy out of my way. Now, there can actually be, I think, invisible enemies, too. Hey, I found some nets. Um... I think there's ones in this room, too. My spider senses are tingling. Oh, there's a hole. Okay, there's a hole. That, that stuff was dangerous to walk in there. That kind of hurt, actually. Um, there's the re-dead. I don't know where I am right now. This is, this is really bad. But I have a feeling I want to get all of these these things. I don't know why, but it, feels, it's, it makes sense. Whenever you see a puzzle like this, you just kind of got to go for it. Is there more? Is there one up here? Yes, there is. Is there any more? I don't see any more. I think there... It, it makes sense that there would be, though. I mean, it didn't give me any kind of special nothing when I got that. Oh, there's one. Okay, so that just opens the door. That allows me to get out of here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Boy, I'm going to be so happy when I find one's the truth. Okay, yeah, that was a fake wall there. I think I'm back at the beginning. Yes, I am. Oh, this is a fake wall, too. This leads back. Okay, this is where, this is where I ran into a problem. Okay, there are doors right there that I could open up. But I'm going to keep working the outside of this. Missed him. Okay. I hear a like lake. Yep, there's a like lake right there. I wonder if that thing could get me through the wall. I don't really want to test it. Oh, here's the thing I can fit through. This is going to be a little bit of exploring and trying to figure out which way I'm supposed to go. And try to find as many little cracks and secrets as I can. There's a key here that I'd have to use. Okay, let's do it. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so there's a hole right there. Oh, man, like I said, this is so difficult to get through when you don't know what's what's what. I was going to blow up that little eyes or... Oh, and I wasted my key on that thing. Dang it. Cool guy. Oh, okay. Oh, that one rock survived it. Okay, so this leads back here. I've already been here. Oh, that re-dead's back, though. Is there anything else down here? Should I, like, explore down here? I keep following me down. I'm falling down here a lot. Why is the fairy freaking out right there? I don't know. Uh... Uh, there is, uh, money up there, but I don't really care about the money. Are you dead? Gotta get him out of the way. Oh, didn't mean to throw that over it. Wasting bombs left and right. Anything down here? Bomb flower? Oh, that's it. Okay, so I take it this is just another place where you can fall down and get here. So this is basically like the, the, the sewer, or this is the sewer of the well. So this is like the bottom of the bottom. This is where you don't want to be, I think, is what it basically is trying to tell me. Okay, I wasted my key already. Good, good. Nice to know. See, back two decades ago, I had this memorized like the back of my hand, but it's been so long. And the farther I get into this game the more difficult it's going to be for me to remember what I'm supposed to do. So, oh no, this way. Yes, this way. Okay. So let's uh, let's get to this again here. No, nothing that way. Nothing this way. Okay, so that thing that I just opened up, though, apparently doesn't seem to be the right way to go. Navi, what's this thing telling me? 
This wall, it says something here. Danger below, that's what it's saying. Okay, so I take it there's a hole there. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> okay, um, I'm just checking the walls as I go. Okay, so I know there's something in the middle, obviously, because that's that's the room that I keep going into. What's, what is this? Oh, there's a Triforce thing here. That should mean that I just have to... Uh, what's the song? That's definitely not it. That's probably it. Remember, whenever there's a Triforce on the ground, you gotta do Zola's Lullaby. Okay, so that drains the water. Can I go down here? Is this the thing? Okay, those bombs. Why aren't those so important? Sounds like the water's still draining, though. Oop, oop, oop. Um, well, I didn't mean to do this, so we're just gonna... Got him! <laughs> what are you saying, wall? Uh, this wall says something here. Danger above? Oh, the, well, the spider thing came down on me, yeah. Oh, stupid freaking hole in the ground. Hey, I found where this <laughs> blower was. Oh, I already blew up the thing anyway, so I don't need to pick that. Can I just run past this thing? No, 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 no. Go back. Just lay back down. Just shoot. Three deads. Gotta love them. Yeah, I don't remember any of this well. Man, how the years have flown by. We should count how many times I climb up this ladder. I think that's the third one. Okay, and we're back. The head start here. Okay, so let's. I think we're this way is where we actually were. Yep, that's right down there is where we were. Okay, so there's a barge that way. Okay, avoided that. And uh, that's the danger above. Okay, so the danger below is, I think, the only place that we haven't gone, really. So let's do the danger below. Ha ha! Ouch. Does this lead back to the same spot? Okay, I'm missing something. Alright, time to climb up the ladder for the fourth time. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. I was... Redeads you can't lock onto until you're, like, really up on them. So instead of locking onto them, I rolled forward right into his grasp. And that was not what I was trying to do. Okay, fourth time is a charm here. Okay, so the danger below makes sense. It's just the same stupid spot I was in before. Okay, so the middle room seems to be about the only thing I can think of. It's a little bit different. Unless I'm missing something. I thought there was, like, a... Uh, like a map and there, everything that you get here. There's also the bomb chews that I got earlier, which might come in handy for something. Oh, the water! I drained the water, so right here. Look at this. Yeah! Right at the beginning. I knew if I started over uh, repeatedly, I'd eventually figure it out. Alright, so what do we got in here? Oops. Got him. All right, let's get going in here. All right, that's a boss door sound thing. Okay, so there's these weird hand things. All right, so this game is rated E for everyone, uh, but this is kind of freaky for kids, I think. <laughs> this thing grabs you, and yeah, you have to try to get away from the hands. And what is that? What is this thing? It's a dead hand. Watch out for its infinite hands aim for its head. Look at this thing. That's like... That's like something out of nightmares right there. I try to get rid of one of these hands if I can. Just trying to get away from it.
Yeah, let's get away from that. The sand, the ground around it kind of pops up whenever, uh, whenever... Come on, I want to get rid of one of these hands so I have a little bit more wiggle. There we go. Hand gone. More wiggle room. Whew, okay. Yeah, these things are kind of creepy. Straight out of nightmare kind of stuff. Hand regrew. I guess that's what it meant by its infant hands. Got it. Whoo, okay, that thing's dead. <laughs> it's like twitching on the ground there. Ah, help me. <laughs> oh, I think I'm standing on the chest. I am. Alright, what is it? Just be the eye of truth and I can get out of here. Got the lens of truth. It is! It is the lens of truth. Voila. Alright, so that's done. Now, there are still places here in the dungeon that I could go. Uh, but I think... Basically, you turn this thing on, it creates like a little circle on your screen that you can see out of. Uh, but basically, I think everything else here is like gold scutellas and stuff. I don't think there's anything I actually really need. Booyah, gotcha. Surprise. Uh, I don't think there's anything I actually really need. It was just the lens of truth was basically it. Um, so I think I might just skip the rest of this stuff and head towards the shadow temple. What's in here? More bombs, gotcha. Okay. Although I could actually look around now with this thing. So let's um, let's go ahead and equip this thing. All right. So when you use this, basically, see how that wall right there isn't actually there. But you can actually see with this thing that it's not there. This should allow me to actually be able to see where I'm going. So there's that room I found earlier. Let's see if there's any other rooms that I, I missed. Uh, there's that entrance to the middle section. There's a hole in the ground. Boy, it's so much easier when you can see what you're doing. Okay, so there's a hole right in the middle of this, too. There's that hole right there. I wonder if I can like, jump. Oh, there's that thing dropping on me. No, it didn't jump! Dang it! That's so annoying. Uh, do you mind, Redead? I'm climbing this ladder for the fifth time, thanks. I guess I can turn off the lens of truth now, because I don't need it down here. You can see how much mana uh, magic that took right there. Uh, it took, uh, you know, a little bit just to have it act that, that amount of time. Okay, so you can't jump over the invisible holes. That's good to know. Kind of sucks, but it's good to know. Oh, there's a there's a place right here. Look at right here. I missed this one earlier. Got a key. Okay. Okay. Looking around here. That I went down there already. Can this thing blow up? I don't think it can. No, it can't. Okay. Now I do have a key, so I can get back in the middle here. I just dodged that guy like a pro. Didn't even mean to. Um, I can get in, uh, into one of those rooms in the middle, but I want to go take a peek at this area over here again, because this was where I fell down before, and I want to see if there's like a way I can just walk around it, because there was a key I had to use to unlock this, which sort of sucks. Like, I would rather not do that, actually, because, um, I mean, I would, I'd rather use it in a place where I'm supposed to. So what, what was beyond this door that I couldn't see? Is there a way to walk around this? There is. Don't mind me, Firebat. Oh, Firebat. Hold on, I gotta be quick about this. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Oh, stupid. Ugh. Number six. Alright, climbing this thing up number six. It's so frustrating. Like, yeah, I was in a corner, couldn't see what I was doing. This redead is having a bad day, he's dying repeatedly. I'll take the magic though, thank you. Alright, number six. There's gotta be something there. Maybe it's just that, because I remember seeing that like like over there, so maybe it's the gold scatella that's on the other side, that's the reward. Uh, but then there's also gotta be something in the middle room too. 
But the the uh, lens of truth is really the the important part and the reason why I'm here. The only reason why I'm going after the sexual stuff is because the episode would end kind of abruptly, uh, and so I'm going to try to find this other uh, every last little secret in here that I can. So I'm also worried about that Izor that's in that room. Yeah, see this guy right here. I see a gold skull on the back wall there. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going after. What, I wonder if I can just run right through this. Now that that um, that like like being that close is gonna suck. Get in the hole, of cheaper. <laughs> 1998. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, it shuts off when I go through here. There you go. Take him on from a range. Okay. Now, hug the wall. I <laughs> just held it like a champ in front of him. Okay, so I lost a lot of health there. I can, I can I get some health here? That's magic. I'll take the magic. Don't fall in a hole. Oh, that was close. Okay, now the like light. I... I thought I hit it. I thought I hit it, but no. My shield is gone. Great. That's what I was trying to do. That doesn't give me my shield back. That's the question. So I would really like my shield back. Otherwise, I have to go buy another one. Probably should do that before I become an adult, too. Yes, I did. I got my shield back. Okay. <laughs> hate those things. Nope. Go back this way. I can probably I'm past the fire bats now. I can probably go back to this. Let's save too before I screw everything up there. This should probably be a key, I'm thinking also. Nope, it is not. Alright, well, I'm getting my reward. I came through all this just for this guy. I'm coming I'm gonna get it. Hooray, right, how many of those things am I up to now, by the way? Uh 34, I just saw it right there. All right, so now I got to work my way back, and there are uh, there were locked doors in that center room. Oh no 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 no! I could just jump down a hole. <laughs> Where is it? Run! Just run for it. It's a dangerous room to be in. It's like the most dangerous room ever. There's holes in the floor. There's fire bats everywhere. This is the most frustrating room to be in, though. I can never crawl in this little area. Okay, so let's go check out those rooms in the center, and then uh, I think that should be it for the beneath the well area. So there's that drop down there. I think that drops onto that platform where I saw the um, the rupees on, which I don't really need, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I hear something. Oh, jeez, I didn't expect that. That was kind of a surprise. Hey, thanks for the 20 bucks, though. All right, yep, there is a gold scatola. Now, there is still one... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's see if I can uh, save this. Got him. <laughs> now, there is a... Um... There's another locked door back there, though. So is there a chest in here? Wait, is there a chest in here? Remember, there's... you got to look with the eye, lens of truth. No, there is not. Okay. So, uh, I don't know where that other key is, off the top of my head. There is that area, too. Which I don't even know how I'd get, go about getting into. Oh! Hold on, I think I have an idea of how to go about getting into there. You just walk around. Makes sense. Oh, this is a big chest. Is there is there a map and compass? Did I find the treasure before I found the map and compass? There is a compass. Look at that. Okay, so with the compass, then, I should be able to tell where the other chest is. I didn't actually come down this way. Yeah, this whole... Oh, there's something here. Oh, look at that. I wonder if that's it. Nope, that's just... 
that's just a heart right there. So, okay. Hmm. All right, well, then let's continue on. Got to find that other key. So, that's a mummy. These are coffins. And there's unlit torches there. Hmm. All right, well, that mummy is probably a redead. I don't actually remember this room at all. Oh, it is a redead. Move, 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 move. Oh, get off me, stupid thing. Oh, cheapers. I hate these things. Oh, wow. Three, three times it got me. There. Dead. No problem. Um, is there anything in here that I'm actually supposed to get? Because I don't see anything. I do see the unlit torches. Which I wonder if I can get all of them at once with the little, uh, a little bit of this. Nope. I didn't mean to do that. Buttons. I'm still having trouble getting used to the buttons after playing this for hours. Let's see if I can't get all of them with this. Got it. So that's doing something. Oh, please tell me there's not terrible. Oh, there's terrible things in here. Why? I don't remember this room at all. Why would I want to unleash all these bats? This seems like a bad idea. Oh, I hear more re undead or uh, redeads. This seems like a very bad idea. There better be like a whole seven heart pieces or something in here. Part of the tribe. Oh, there is a redead. You know what? <laughs> Let's just do it again. Oh, that was bad. That just lit him on fire. I thought for sure that would kill him. Okay. Well, you know, mistakes were made. <laughs> mistakes were made. Oh, I'm just throwing bombs now at this point. I don't know why I even came in here. I have the lens of truth. I should just get out of here. I want that heart. Oh, there's hearts in there. It's going to cost me a couple hearts just to get these things. Uh-huh. Shielding. Swing. Got it. Oh. Got him. Okay, so that one's dead. Now, there's still... Okay, there's still one over there, too. I, maybe I have to kill all the enemies in the room. Maybe there's actually a reward for this, and this wasn't just a death trap. Got him. Okay, now. This thingy. I don't suppose there's any more hearts in any of these things, are there? Oh, there is. I saw it. Quickly. Got him. Okay. Was there... Was it really just a death trap? <laughs> I think it was just a death trap. Here I am thinking, hey, where's my reward? And there's just pain and death in here. Okay, so uh, let's leave. <laughs> that was kind of a big waste of time and resources, but uh, okay, I was hoping at least the key would be in there, you know? Oh, well. Um, hmm. I don't know where else to go then. Oh, that thing's right there. Got it. Forgot about that guy. Now notice I can't use my charge up sword thing whenever this thing is active. So you know you use so much magic at any given time. Let's get this guy out of the way. Okay, so I can walk around this. Okay, see that's something I didn't notice before. Aha, uh -huh, I bet you that's the key. Nope. Boy, I cannot find this thing to save my life. All right, there's only one last possibility that I can think of. And that is to drop down in here. Because, see, there's still this locked door right here. But I think that's it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. Watch out for the shadows of uh, monsters that hang from the ceiling. Yeah, I know. I've noticed them, actually. I would have been in here. All right. I'm going to just jump down in here and see where it goes. Yeah, it does lead on here. Dang it. I knew it. Okay, so... Basically, though, that means that I've explored everything I can. Maybe there was something I missed. I'm not too sure. This redead was going to get killed one more time. I think this is lucky number seven. Right? 
number seven uh, times that I've had to climb this ladder. Yep, pretty sure it's either that or the key is down here. Either way, I don't care. Uh, it's the map, I think, is the only other thing I'm missing. And uh, maybe a gold scatella or something like that. So, uh, I did get the Lens of Truth. That is the important part. Uh, we're going to take this and beat feet out of here. And then I'm going to have to come back here as an adult. Not to here, not the well, but to the Shadow Temple. Because now that I have the Lens of Truth, I can actually do some damage. Um, and I believe the entrance to the well was right over here. Yep. Oh, forgot about that guy. Surprise! Don't focus on the guy in the corner. Got him. I was hoping he'd give me some hearts or something, because they're kind of in rough shape. Alright, let's climb on up here. Get back to the, uh... Get back to the Temple of Time and return as an adult with the Lens of Truth now. Yeah, you know, I just realized I have that Pharaoh's Wind, whatever. I could have actually... Or Ferrar's Wind. I could have actually used that. Oh, I don't actually need to climb up here. I just remembered. Um, sit there with my eyes closed, meditating like a Jedi. Um, now, do I remember, <laughs> remember the song to get back to the Temple of Time? Okay, I could probably do that. Got it. So yeah, that's uh, that's the well that's underneath the well. It's some creepy stuff underneath this town. I don't know who built that place, but they they were pretty messed up in the head. Evil, terrible spirits. I guess uh, actually, I do know who built that. That was Impa, right? Impa sealed the uh, uh, the shadow monster down there. That's what she had said. So Impa, you're pretty messed up. See that or the shadow monster messed it up? I don't really know, but that was pretty messed up. All right, let's go back to being adults. This kid thing sucks. <laughs> I found a sword! Alright, I'm gonna have to warp to the Shadow Temple now. Let's see if I remember this. Got it! First try. Man, I was sitting there struggling on that too. I was like, let's see, it's this one, uh, whatever. It's either that or I'm warping to the lake, I don't really know. Graveyard! Okay. <laughs> All right, here we are at the Shadow Temple. Gonna have to take this one on. And the first puzzle is to get this door open. And that'll have to happen next time. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, it's been a, quite a challenge actually trying to remember some of this stuff because as my as I get older, my brain starts to kind of fade on me and I, I don't remember a lot of this. As a kid, like I said, constantly, I, I could do this forever. But uh, if you did enjoy this episode, please be sure to leave a like down below and uh, comment uh, anything you would like to comment, whether uh, this episode sucked or whether this episode was the best, and uh, or anything you like about Zelda. Tell me stuff, some, some Zelda facts, actually. I want to know some Zelda stuff. Uh, what was your favorite Zelda game? Actually, let's start with that one. I challenge everybody to answer that. What was your favorite Zelda game that's ever been made? Because they've been made, there, there's like 30 of them. So uh, if you did enjoy this episode, please be sure to leave a like, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching, and goodbye. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Click on some of these things here, you see. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> Avoiding audio copyrights. <laughs> mm -hmm.